Hi, Scott. Here's your MC for tonight. It's Mr. Ray Flores. I'm going to stay at the top, do what I want to, because when you speak boxing, you're speaking me, brother. I'm going to be ruthless again. My fist is just going to break his whole face, and that's it. You got MMA fighters calling me out. Man, stay in your lane. Let's not kid ourselves here who the big star is of this show. Got me a slick, handsome Irish kid, and has climbed to the top of the game quicker than anyone else has done it. This is not like a normal fight. It's big, big business. He will now turn all of his attention to fight only one man, and that is Floyd Money Mayweather. <laughs> I'm always looking to make history every single day. The first man ever to hold two titles simultaneously. And here we are again, more history. This just puts it even more in stone. No one's even came close. I'll be immortalized after this. No fighter in the history has done what Floyd Mayweather has done. All I ever thought about was winning. But that's all I know. When there's nobody there to separate, he's gonna break. They fight every day, they in the gym every day. If I still can't beat me. When I hit a person, they don't escape. It's not about who hit the house. It's about who has the world to win more. I, I see it in my head, and then it happens. I know how to fight. I know how to win. I'm God gifted. I hold this entire game in the palm of my hand. It's never personal for me. It's always business. It's over before it even begins. When it comes down to boxing, I'm the best at this. Of 
21 wins, opposite three defeats. He is the former UFC featherweight and the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. He is the pride of Dublin, Ireland. London, please welcome the notorious Connor. crowd react to this. He hasn't been popular on the tour so far. When they mention Pacquiao, they say, who is that? They say, that's the guy that we're trying to get to fight Floyd Mayweather. When they say Floyd Mayweather, they say, that's an all-time great. Money isn't everything. Money is the only thing. in a lifetime. Wait till we get on the motherfucking lights and this lights camera action. I do everything better than every boxer. Everything. Never find them complain, just work. I will always find a way to win. is taking this away from me.
universally recognized as the world's best pound for pound fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Floyd Money. Yeah, my rolling on Barack. Got my diamonds in the air. Now I ain't talking about the rock. Tell the you can't touch this. Got me feeling like hammer. Hundred thousand, I'm up, up. Credit cards and scammers. Yeah, yeah. Telling all the dancers. Rich as I'm rich, but now I'm rich. The power. Been a man. Yo. boxer in the world even now two years after retiring he knows how to milk a crowd he's great at this what a showman it hasn't been as choreographed as this it hasn't as been as dramatic as this on this tour so far meanwhile conor mcgregor bounces around the wing he's being made to wait by floyd mayweather jr it's all part of those mind games that start this far out. And everyone wants to capture the moment. And that's what McGregor thinks of him. You want in box office? It's not going to be friendly, folks, that's for sure. They are here to make a scene, to create headlines, and to cause drama. There's certainly a height differential between the two. Yesterday, in Brooklyn, McGregor accused Floyd Mayweather Jr. Wearing heels. He won't touch him, but he'll wind him up, that's for sure. Hey, it's the first time ever Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather Jr. are in a ring. It won't be the last time. Playing up to a raucous SSE arena crowd. These two absolute superstars, heroes of their sports, coming together for the final time on this wild whirlwind press tour. It's incredible. So this is the best of the best. 
Sam Sierra's every strength. Again, they've been. They've come together. Let's hope they clean their teeth.
six private jets, 14,000 miles traveled, four sold out venues, three countries, 50,000 fans, all to see this, the biggest fight in combat sports. Thank you, London, for turning out today. Thank you, Toronto, Los Angeles, and Brooklyn. A reminder, tickets go on sale July 24th, a week from Monday. You get your tickets, buy them early. If you're buying your pay-per-view, buy that early. We'll see you on August 26th. Mr. Steven Espinosa, the executive vice president and general manager of Showtime Sports. It's no secret that Conor McGregor has wrecked havoc in the world of mixed martial arts with 18 knockouts. A two division world champion in the UFC. This next gentleman has worked instrumentally with Conor McGregor. He has promoted many UFC events here in London and throughout the United Kingdom. London, please welcome the president of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Mr. Dana White. close to home, but I can hear so many of my countrymen and so many people that are on my side support me. We are six weeks out from the biggest fight in sporting history. And I'm 29 today. 29 years of age. Four years ago, I want to speak to everyone in the crowd. Four years ago, I fought in London at a place called the HMV Forum in front of about 500 people four years ago. Now here I am, six weeks out, about to quadruple my net worth with one half a fight. I'm, I'm in shock every single day I wake up. Half a fight, let's get that right. I get to quadruple my net worth for half a fucking fight. Sign me up. You mean, you mean no one's gonna kick, no one's gonna knee, no one's gonna elbow? And, I, and it's against this little brill hand bitch? The pain in this man's hands in the cold is unbelievable. He's in fucking bits with them little bitch paws. Mate, you're 40. Get that fucking phone out of your hand like a fucking kid. 40 year old man, what the fuck? He was wearing high heels yesterday. Check the face up picture from yesterday and check it from the day before. Proper fucking high heels that bitch was wearing. You should have worn them on the first fucking day, you stupid baldy twat. Ellaby, what's up? What's up? Leonard Ellaby, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't gotten near Leonard all this tour. I like Leonard though. He's a slick motherfucker, dressed out, it's nice suits. Not so much today though. What the fuck is that? The final day? You're wearing gray suits and you show up with that shit the final day? You're all right, Leonard, I like you, but. I've got to be real. When his legacy is destroyed in six weeks time, it's going to fall on your shoulders. It's going to fall on senior shoulders. It's going to fall on his whole circle's shoulders. He could have rode off into the sunset 49 and 0. Instead, this is my first time in a boxing ring. 
and in six weeks, I run box him. <laughs> How the fuck did they let me roll up in here? They got greedy, that's fucking hell. What's your best friend out it? You little fucking weasel. Never a man that looks like a weasel. That's fucking it. You gonna do? You gonna stand up and do some? You sit down and shut your fucking mouth. What's with these two Jews heads you got? What the fuck was that yesterday? He jumped up and he shouted, "Voltron, Power Rangers!" And these fucking Jews heads. Can walk and stand up before me. Mate, 40 years of age. Get your fucking shit together, my god. You juice head turkey and you juice head turkey. Look where you're standing now. Look where you're standing now, you two fucking bitches. You'll do fuck all. You juice head monkey, juice head monkey. Imagine paying them fools a wage. You are a fucking bitch. <laughs> bitch with no more bitches on his payroll. No wonder you're going fucking broke. Boxing ring. I am boxing. Who's <laughs> some slap head? You little slap head. Boom! I'm so happy you took that hat off, I gotta say. What the fuck were you hiding under that thing? That little fucking peanut head. I tried to tip it off yesterday, I was like, it was glued on. I was like, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing? Step up or go on to him. Step up or go on. Good kid, good kid. Hey, ladies. Ladies, it's ladies, I love his ladies. All right, London, thank you so fucking much. What a city, what a tour, what a fucking honor. But let's get it straight. The bullshit is now over. Six weeks, I'm gonna sleep this fool. And when I sleep him, I'm gonna bounce his head off the canvas as well.
too quick for you, son. Come get this one. Come get this one, son.
Okay. Okay. To August 26. I ain't I throw you in your motherfucking neck. I might not do the same. I knock you the fuck out. I might not do the same. I knock you the fuck out. I might just throw you in your neck. I knock you the fuck out, punk. I'm with those fucking brittle bitch hands. Let me see the man. Shut the fuck up! Mr. Quinn, shut the fuck up! Mr. Player, bitch, make me. If you quit once, you quit twice. If you quit twice, you quit three times. But on the fourth time, I'ma knock you the fuck out. Play the song for Conor McGregor. Holly with the map out. Make a tap out. Was that song tap out? Put that shit on again for Conor McGregor. Tap she out. got that knees out, make a tap out. Tap out, tap out, tap out, tap out. DJ, got the song. Got the song, DJ. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. And y'all put y'all faith in this bitch? In this quitter? In this hoe? Well, you know what's so crazy? This is the UFC, and this is the quitter. I was just in Dublin. I was just in Dublin. I ain't see you. I was looking for you when I was in Dublin. I went to Vegas and you fucking retired eight weeks ago. I ain't gonna touch you. I ain't gonna touch you, don't worry. I know that, I but just know I'm ready to slap the head off you. I, you, I know that. Good girl, good bitch. Yeah! Yeah! I feel so good. I look so good. I'm undefeated. 21 year run. And this all y'all got to offer? You know what? This is a microwave meal. I'm a home cooked meal. It's settling in on your stomach. Microwave meal, that's what you are. I'm a home cooked meal. With that cheap ass watch on. Step your game up. 1.4 million, bitch. This is my trainer watch. Shut up! Shut up! Hey, Steven. I love the gift shop by me. I love the company I'm with. Bugattis, mansions, jets. And I love the UFC, but I don't know what they bought you. Tell me what the UFC bought you. Shut the fuck up, they ain't bought you shit, bitch. Yeah, we gonna talk about this pussy. You punk, you faggot, you hoe. Oh, you're yeah, dragging it on me. Sit down and shut the fuck up. 
Shut up! You had your turn! You the fucking student! I'm the teacher! August 26th, I'm gonna take you to school! Make sure you bring your school bag! Yeah! Yeah! 40 ain't never looked so good! This the last stop! I'm ready to go to Ireland. Dana, can we go to Ireland tomorrow? Let's go to Dublin. Yes, I do. Let's do that. I can conquer any country. You should have came and got me for the UFC if you wanted a real champion. I run the octagon. I run the ring. Me. And you say something. You say something else, I'll whoop your ass in the octagon, bitch. Yeah, when I spark you August 26th, I'm gonna make you face me in the rematch in the octagon. And then we'll see if you're all talk or not. Hey! Somebody, somebody get Nate Diaz on the phone. Get Nate Diaz on the phone. He look now though, his face is drooping to the left. It feels so good to be at the top and never lose. You know what it's like to taste defeat. I would never taste defeat, bitch. The earth is my turf. Anywhere I go, I run shit. Yeah, yeah. And I love Dana White, that's my friend, that's my buddy. No matter what I said about Dana in the past, I'm a real man, I can apologize. You done a hell of a job bringing this bitch to the table. All work is what? All work is what? All work is what? What point did easy work then? birthday to Conor McGregor. It is his birthday. I can give him that much respect before I fuck him up. Say happy birthday to Conor McGregor. It's his birthday. Happy birthday. Today is your birthday. As a gentleman, I'm Fuck Floyd Mayweather! One, two, three! That's a fucking birthday song, bitch! And now, ladies and gentlemen, Floyd Money Mayweather and the notorious Conor McGregor, Saturday, August 26th, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View, brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Mayweather McGregor, Saturday, August 26th, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View, Las Vegas. Well, apologies for any swearing that crept in. I can't say I'd be surprised if it did. Wow.
Conor McGregor taking it to Mayweather in some fashion. Yes, it is a circus. Yes, it is a show. Yes, it is hype. But hey, it's fun, right? And if Conor McGregor wasn't notorious before tonight, he is now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a couple of questions here at the Mayweather McGregor press conference here in London from the media. So if you are from the media, raise your hand and you can ask a question with, for Floyd Money Mayweather and the notorious Conor McGregor here in London. Go, go ahead, sir. Turn his mic on. Go ahead, sir. Question for Conor McGregor. Conor, how do you address the doubters, those who say you've got no chance? I can't hear you, bud. Conor, how do you address the doubters, those who say you've got no chance? How do you make them believe? By doing what I, I say I'm gonna do, by sleeping this man inside of four rounds, the same way I silence them every other time. Floyd, how do you think this contest will affect your legacy? In, in boxing, <clears throat> In boxing, it's all about taking chances. And in boxing and in contact sports, period, it's about taking risk. And if you're going to take risk, take it against the top guys. Connor, Connor, what was your goal for the world tour and have you accomplished it now that it's over? The goal for the World Tour was just, look, it's a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, something of this magnitude. I don't think in either sport we've seen anything like this. So the, the number one goal was to have fun with it, to enjoy it. I mean, some of them shots from yesterday and the Toronto scenes, the whole trip has been just amazing. Even now, like, there's a fucking ring right in the middle. This is just a fucking press conference. I don't, is it even a press conference? They just transformed into something, something different, but the goal for me was just to have fun. Get up close and personal with this man and see what he's about. So I learned he's like a, he's like a little kid. So that's it, I, I had fun and I'm looking forward to now the real work and then the fight on August 26th. Uh, my question's for Connor. Connor, throughout your career, people have always doubted you. How much do you enjoy proving them wrong? How much do you enjoy proving your doubt is wrong? How much do you enjoy proving your doubters wrong? It, it gets me going. It's what, it's what motivates me. They all doubt me. They all, they all try and laugh at, at everything. They try and mock me. It's been happening my whole career. So it's just something that motivates me to keep going and conquering the unconquerable, to show that anything is possible. You, can, you know what I mean? We're all, we're all able to do anything. Like I said to the, to the crowd here, four years ago, I was fighting in a place here in London called the HMV Forum in front of 500 people. That was four fucking years ago. Now I'm here, I'm about to take part in this billion dollar fight. I'm about to smoke this fool. And we're here doing 20,000 people in a fucking press conference. So if that doesn't show you that anything is possible, then I don't know what does. Time for one more question, one more question. Connor, we know, we know you love to fight. We know you love the fame. And we sure know you love the money. But when you come it's like here. like you know me all my life. When you come here to an event like this and see that more than 5,000 of your fellow countrymen have flown here just for this event tonight. Does it hit home now? But not only are you fighting for the things you love, but for the country of Ireland. 100%. My home country is very dear to my heart. 
I mean, the fans, the Irish fans are... Everyone around the world knows about the Irish fans. They are not to be messed with. Floyd has never fought an Irish man before. He's not experienced this. But in, this, in the ring, he will, he will feel it. Make no mistake about it. It's a different animal when the Irish are in town, and that's just, that's just the truth. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in Las Vegas. Floyd Money Mayweather, the notorious Conor McGregor, Saturday, August 26th, from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View, brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, London. We'll see you come fight week. Well, we've watched them all. The London takes him even higher and edgier than ever before. That was maximum effort, maximum entertainment. It may be too much for some at times, but it certainly pulls you in. It's been a bit WWE on occasion. Rumors this morning suggested that McGregor would get fined if he touched Floyd Mayweather Jr. He did that. The Floyd Mayweather Jr. backing away from doing the same to make sure but it didn't become anything more than what it was supposed to be tonight. Choreographed, well organized, and that man has been an absolute hit. He looked like he was enjoying himself. He's closer to home. He knows this crowd was massive for him. He called it the biggest fight in history, and he was determined to celebrate his 29th birthday. Looks like Gabriel Clark is getting hold of Conor McGregor. And uh, we'll hear that very shortly, that's for sure. He was saying four years ago he fought in London at the HMV Forum in front of 500 against Steve O'Keefe in Kentish Town. Well, Richie Woodall, there was... Ten times more than that in here tonight. Well, not quite that, but quite a few more in here tonight as a result just for a press conference or a press show. I mean, Floyd Mayweather Jr., you know he's a fantastic businessman. He knows exactly what he is doing here. And he's using that, that antagonism to fuel the hostility between the two. Yeah, tremendous showman, isn't he, uh, Floyd Mayweather? He's a... Uh... The guy who's seen it, done it, done it all before, 